coming to you live. Just gonna start with some Glorious Primer. Get about a pea size amount out. That's about all you need. Your whole face, eyes, and everything. Just gonna close your pores, fill some fine lines. Make sure your foundation goes on even, lasts all day. My phone is trying to reconnect like already at the beginning of the video. Okay, so I finished prepping my priming my face. I put the rest in the back of my hands. It feels so so soft. Did you see that? Flipping this thing around. Goodness. So I'm using a brow liner now. Let's do our brows. I use medium. Let's brush my brows down and do my top line quick. Hey Destiny, hey Maddie. Hey Tamara. I just kind of start to blend that in a little bit. Um, the harder you press, the kind of more it will blend out. So it depends on how natural or not you want your brows. Joanna. And I do my bottom line. Stephanie, hey, Galen. <laughs> awesome, Lisa. Hi, Mary. And I just go up to fill in the inside a little bit. You go to uniquebeautybykayla.com. At the top of this page is a shop now button, too. And then just click shop as soon as you're there. But if you have questions about any of the products or need help with your color, um, just message me. Well, you can ask any questions about the, the products on here as well, too, of course. But for color matches, message me. <laughs> awesome, Kurt. Katrina. I was, it, it was saying weak connection at the beginning of my, um, thing. As soon as I got on, it, like, went instantly to, like, reconnecting. And I was like, really? <laughs> hey, Linda. Hey, Isabel. Not much. <laughs> Thank you, Lisa. I was doing good. Hi, Linda. Hey, Becca. Um, I just got mine from Amazon. Oh my goodness, there we go. Come on. I'm doing good, Pakiza. Kind of cool. I'm early today? I guess compared to the last two days. But this is later than I used to come on. I don't know what a normal time is for me. I just come on when I get a chance. Yeah, the last two days I came on later than normal. But maybe that's n new normal? I don't really know. Awesome, Angela. Yes, Giza. Where you been? He gives a bow. Frog likes me more today. 
Here's a little brow gel trying to keep those brows in place. Brush us just a little light gel. Doesn't leave them stiff or anything, but helps fill them in a little bit more and keep them in place more than anything. Remember, so awesome. Hello. Hi, Ellie. Yeah, I haven't talked to you in a while. <laughs> Just practice, Courtney. under there a little bit more. <laughs> hey Amber. Hi Christina, awesome. <laughs> Goose is on your way back up. It's on its way to you. Awesome. Yeah, I mean I had to cut them recently. A couple of them broke. But I had to cut them recently. Always in class are working on sex. Oh gonna see that yeah that makes sense. Tomorrow. So entertaining. <laughs> I'm glad I'm entertaining. Oh not in love with this brow today but but it'll work okay we're going through the muse today we're not starting with the muse though but we're going through the muse because i love this and i haven't used it in a while here's um i guess we'll use my deluxe brush right now let me just make sure it's clean so i'm going to start with this tickled as a blending color and palette three just get a little bit maybe, maybe not that much there's some off on my deluxe brush awesome awesome sarah Hi, Erica. I just showed yesterday. Kimberly, you can look at my video yesterday. Rosalie. Thank you, Tanya. Okay, so I'm just using this, starting in my crease and working up as a blending color. I'm just going to tap just a tiny bit more of the tickle down. Just a great transition color. So note to self, make sure it's actually clean because apparently there's a little shimmer on this brush, but I guess it'll be fine. We'll do a little shimmer. <laughs> this tickle's like very matte, but this brush did not clean well last time, I guess. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Um, I've tried that on my own before, and for me and my skin, that's just not my favorite. I am going to use BB cream today, though, because I do love the BB cream. And then I always just top it off with the pressed powder. That's just me and my personal. Everybody's got different skin and different skin type and stuff. You guys know I only use what I love. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit of this smitten to go under the brow. Just like a little bit. I'm going to use the very end. Just tap a little bit on to go under the brow. Especially with the shimmer a little, it goes a long way. You can see that shimmer. So much. These palettes are really, really easy to blend, Sarah. Really easy. Thank you, Lissa. It's literally easier for me to do my own hair for some reason than to French braid or anything anybody else's. Don't want to understand how. That's a ring from Alaska. Awesome. Hello, Tiffany. Okay. So now we're going to go through with this static. This is a gorgeous, um, shimmery, goldish color. And I'm again just going to tap in the tip of this deluxe brush. And we're just going to keep going with the deluxe brush. And I'm, like opening my eyes up or whatever to be able to really get in my crease good. And I'm going right in my crease. We're just going to leave that for a sec. 
do the other eye and then start blending it up. A little bit more. <laughs> Make this more even. There we go. Okay. So let's just keep working it back and forth as I'm slowly starting to bring it up. Hey, Sina. Yeah, here, let's see for you. Favorite palette? It's a hard question, but my most used is probably palette one, or browns. Like, if I was to go out, that's most likely what I pick up. Awesome, Megan. Thank you, Lisa. Just gotta take a little bit more static on this eye. Hey, Brandy. Oh, yes, exactly what you did in your life. Okay, now I'm just taking a little product to kind of bring down a little bit. I mean, obviously we're not getting the whole lid because that's going to be taken by Amused. Wipe off my brush. Make sure it's blended up. Brown, you're good to color, yeah. Let me show you palette one. Palette one. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Melissa. Gorgeous brown, warm, neutral colors. I don't like this eye has more in the crease. Okay, matters most when my eyes are closed. <laughs> or whatever. Eyes are down. Okay, that should be good. We'll go through the mused. And Melissa. Ah, stop, Stephanie. Hi, <laughs> like Kristen. Thanks, Chelsea. Okay, mused shine. This is gorgeous. Cream shadow brush. So this is our matte, um, matte cream shadow that uh, came out last month. So it's hard to say if it's green or blue, and it kind of looks like a little bit more blue in the camera. We've had this discussion the last couple times I've used this. I feel like it's more green, but I don't know. And it's also confusing because it looks a little bit different in the, in the video lighting. But I love our cream shadows. They're creams that dry to a powder finish. They're very easy to apply. So I do more pressing where I want more pigment and then I'll blend it out in a second, don't worry. You guys do anything fun this weekend? You relax. It's greenish, yeah. Like turquoise, I guess, would be the best. Maybe, but when I saw it at first, I just thought green and only green. And then you guys confused me to think it was maybe blue. And then now I'm still confused. <laughs> Either way, it's gorgeous. Oh, got hair. Just gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you, Marcus. Yes, it's morning here. Celebrated your daughter's birthday yesterday. Awesome. Very fun.
Vision Curse of the Shop and Dagger. Awesome. Grayish? Oh my goodness. I can't think of a third color looks like. <laughs> yeah, right? Should be confused. I don't know. The, the most confusing part was the fact that you guys were confusing me the first time I opened it. I was like, so this is gorgeous green and everybody's like, it's blue. And then I'm like, wait, is it blue? And then I started thinking it's blue. And then, I don't really know. I just added a little bit more product to go here. And on the website, it says blue, but I don't understand. Because like, especially on the website, like it looks even more green. Like on the website, it looks like real green. I'm so confused. <laughs> yes, it's a gorgeous color. Hey, Kayla. Okay, I think that's good. Can you do shimmer color here? Thinking. Maybe I'll just do smitten from palette. From this palette. Color wings. I could do green, blue, black, gray. Brown, technically. I don't know if I want to do brown, but I can do any of them. I hope it's not I hope this isn't all over the board what you guys decide. But black, gray, blue, green, brown are our liner choices, our wing choices. I get asked that Megan all the time. I that's such that's a very hard question. Maybe elegant, maybe dreamy. I also love tenacious and defiant. It's probably Probably top four at least. <laughs> Such a hard question. I can see. He looks great also. I got gray liners. Okay. So, okay. Then a couple greens. More gray. It's like a charcoal gray, by the way. It's like a practically black gray, but gray nonetheless, I guess. Um What am I doing? Oh shimmer. Let's do the liner shader brush. Let me make sure this is clean though. Okay. Let's go through some smitten. And this time I'm going to get some more smit on the thing. Okay, what else? Give me a couple more grays. Brown, blue. A couple more greens. Mackenzie, green. One of those extra colors. Yeah, exactly. That's basically what it is. Gray, a couple more greens. So that shimmer in here. Another green, green, brown. Thank you, Kayla. Gray. What would be great with blue eyes from the cream shadows? Um, so so obviously I so I personally think blue at least looks good with blue still, because it really makes your blue pop. But the what complements blue is is orange. Like orange is the opposite side of the color wheel. So like you can use like golds or coppers and stuff like that. So Defiant is gorgeous in general, but with blue eyes, it really makes them pop. But you can also use like any kind of like golds, like extravagant or like golds are very similar, you know, to that type of thing. But uh, the cream show is definitely, definitely Defiant. More green. Hey, Charlene. I think Brie might win. Okay, let me, let me bring some of this cream shadow down on the outside over here. Now I wanna do black on my waterline though, so let's do black on my waterline first, then we'll bring the muse down. Let me sharpen this. Here's my sharpener. Don't over sharpen your things too. Just sharpen just a little bit. You don't want to like waste any product. Um, I love the. I mean, you can use whatever with extravagant, but I love the the browns from Palette Four. In my crease, the browns in the crease. Okay. And then just a little black on the waterline. Let's bring this. So I'm just taking some of that right in the end, then used. 
to bring right below. Way too much on this side. Okay, so I think green wings it is. And I'm gonna do it quickly now. Before I do my wings, let's do some baby cream. I'm gonna do some baby cream and let that sit on my face quickly. Well, not quickly. <laughs> While well, I'd finish up the rest of my eyes. Well, I'll just do about that much baby cream. It's a tinted moisturizer, only light coverage. I use it with a pressed powder, and that's how you get full coverage. But I love the way this stuff feels. I just personally apply it with my hands. You can apply it with a foundation brush or a liquid foundation brush or whatever. Blending buds if you want, but I just apply it like it's a moisturizer, basically. And it feels so soft. It applies pretty wet, but it doesn't, and you guys can watch as it starts drying my face, you can watch that it doesn't, you know, dry as wet. It's wet looking. But it feels very soft. Not oily either. I tend to have more oily skin, but it doesn't leave me oily. Especially when I use it with the powder on top. Anyways. But it feels, feels great. Keeps my skin hydrated. Got cat hair somewhere. Awesome, Alex. Oh, awesome, Lindsay. Yes, I'll do that. Just one second. Got your bottle from last week. Awesome, Sydney. What am I doing? Liner. Bad memory sometimes. So, Prosperous is our green. Prosperous. So, make sure to store our liquid liners um, down. They're your felt tips. So, make sure to store them down. Then we start on the outside and come in. Then we start like that, and then I go over. I feel like extra shaky today. I'm gonna put my elbow down. I'm just gonna extend my wing a little bit. Diane, anybody can do the, um, I mean, you can do your foundation before if you like, but I like to do my foundation after so I can clean up under my eyes. Because or else I start to get, like, pigment all down on my foundation, and I don't like that. Makeup is all done how you want. I just have fun playing with the makeup. Also, I am not a makeup artist at all. So, you don't have to do whatever I do. But it was from different makeup artists I was watching how I learned to do my foundation after. But it's all like 50-50, some do it differently, but I find it works so much better. Just like for the most part, I like to start my wings on the outside and come in. Just cause before it would tend to be too far down if I was doing it the other way. Makeup is all about self-expression. Just there a little bit uneven. This one's a little bit more curved, but I don't care. Close enough, right? Yeah, I like to be able to clean up the fallout exactly. Do you think the skincare line is too much for someone young? No. Um, I think I think the cutoff in age would, um, Olivia, but um, no, not because they're young. I mean, it's up to them if they want to use the anti-aging parts of our skincare line, but still our cleansers, and our rose water, and our moisturizers are good for any age, male, female, anybody. Yeah, 
Yeah, Samantha, I didn't used to. Well, actually, I didn't used to wear much eye makeup, but I used to always do my, like, mascara and liner after, but... Oh, I was terrible too, Kaylin. Oh my god, sorry, my nose is killing me. Oh. My allergies. Whew. No, but just practice your wings, especially at night. That's when I started practicing, is I would go through my wings at night when I was about to take my makeup off. So when I messed up, because I was going to mess up, you know, I would just take it off. But as soon as I started going from the outside and coming down versus going here and going out, my wings became so much easier. And I really like these felt tips because I can kind of shake and mess up a little bit and it doesn't go everywhere. Like for like um, the ones where you dip it in and put it on, I felt like I would mess that up every single time. These ones are a little bit easier to work with for like beginners or people like me type thing too. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Becca, that has to do with your skin type and what kind of stuff you like. Um, but I, I definitely love the BB cream and powder. Definitely love it. Almost five years, Benicia. On the 18th of this month is our anniversary. Hopefully we'll do something. We'll see. <laughs> exactly, Kimberly. Exactly. That's why I've been starting the past few years. <laughs> yeah, I'm super shaky. Today, like, I saw my desk right here today. Like, I really had to put my elbow down to, like, because my hand was being very shaky. What was I doing? Mascara. Mascara. I forget. Have you tried our felt tips, by the way? And like the biggest thing about these is try to use the side more. I only use the very tip for the very end and don't press too hard. You really don't need to press too hard. If you press too hard, it kind of it stops the ink from coming out, if that makes sense. But for the most part, I use the side and then the very ends I use the tip. But if you try to use just the tip for the whole thing, um, it doesn't come out as, as, as much. But I definitely, definitely love our liners. Okay, let's do mascara now. Unique's 3D Fiber Life Mascara. You guys should know that by now, right? <laughs> oh, I need exfoliator on my lips. That's why I was doing my BB cream then too. Forgot. We'll do that one second. Get my hair out of the way. And I just put a light layer of gel on the bottom. I don't like too much on the bottom. Yes, just about five years. I'm like two weeks. <laughs> You never make a but you like how it looks on you? Well, that's good to just wear it once in a while though, you know? Kind of makes it more special, I guess. <laughs> you can rewatch Sexy. I really like these green, this green. Can you see that close? I really like this green with um, the Amuse, the green liner. Glad you guys picked that. I feel like it's gonna, it brings out the green in the Amuse, Amused a little bit more too. My cat is meowing. I want to see if he's going to be good. I think I'm going to get him in a second. No, Antoinette, there's a lot of, there are a lot of unique presenters on here. That's fine. It's a public page and it's fun. Yeah, I've never tried that and I know you said that on me before. I feel like it always works for me because I just keep them sitting in this cup, keep them sitting face down. Yes, exactly, Kaylin. More control. That's that's what I like. <laughs> yes, I, Heather, I was just about to put on my lips, the exfoliator. Uh, I was going to do that a minute ago, and I totally forgot because I get really sidetracked sometimes. <laughs> Hi, Casper. I'm doing good. Okay, so I love, love, love our lip exfoliator. Like, they seriously, like, this came last month. They, like, knocked it out of the park. Actually, it's already December. This came in October. Oh, my God. It's already December. That is crazy. Okay, so I, I like to put it on my lips and let it sit for a little bit. So it's got um, shea butter and sugar in it. So shea butter, you know, moisturizes your lips and sugar is a natural exfoliant. So it literally tastes like sugar and it really like hydrates and moisturizes your lips. Let me get my cat who's, well actually he might stop meowing. Maybe I'll see if he stops meowing. He was meowing like annoying a second ago. <laughs> fiber then, yes, fiber gel fiber. So I just started with a quick coat on my lashes. I don't usually let them dry. I just got busy talking. Um. Just because that gives me even more length and volume. And then I go back through with more gel, then fibers, then do the other eye, then more gel. And I blink it on to curl my lashes up. Okay. 
I'll read the comments in a sec. Okay, so let's take the fibers. They're loose fibers. Roll them back. My hand is what I do to press them down, so then I just get less on my lashes. And then just mid to ends, and they just literally... You gotta make sure to put it on when the gel's nice and wet. It just attaches to your lashes to give you even more length of volume. So just one coat of, like, normal mascara, basically, compared to that. Seriously. Amazing. And then I still have to seal in with the gel, which just gives you even more length of volume. Oh, wait, I was gonna read the comments. Um... Um, I've done tutorials on my hair when I curl it. Hey, Susie. You just scroll through my videos. Yes, I think it's awesome. Hey, Miranda. Last time I have a gal. Okay, and again, take the fibers, roll them back in your hand, and oh, goodness, roll them more. Don't let them get loose. <laughs> there we go. And that's just what gives you amazing length and volume. Seriously, this mascara is life. <laughs> Hi, Stephanie. I used um, palette three. Yeah, three. <laughs> yes, I love the mascara. Lip exfoliators on my lips. Okay, so now we're sealing them with a the gel. It's super important. Always um, swirling your tube. Never pump your wand. That adds air in, which dries it out quicker. Invites bacteria in. You don't want that. Thank you, Amanda. Awesome, Miranda. Yes, I love the primer. It's so soft. Doesn't leave me oily either. It's a big thing. It's not thick or anything. Hi, Amanda and Grace. right here. Feelers work great to separate lashes. <laughs> Especially when my nails are broken and that's what I normally use. <laughs> Thank you Kimberly, you're too sweet. Do you wait for the mascara to dry? Yes, the fibers should dry onto the gel. Like, so gel, fibers, let the, the fibers dry on and then gel again. So you're applying the fibers on top of the wet gel, but then applying the gel on top of the dry fibers. If that makes sense. Or else you're kind of just pulling the fibers back off. If that makes sense. Yes, I love. So you can, okay, so it doesn't cover up pimples, but if you saw the beginning of my video, my face is much paler than my neck. My face is a little bit redder than my neck. So the BB cream just tint, just like evened out my complexion. And it's a complexion enhancer in general too, so it really will help your skin over time. So if I was just to go out and didn't really care if I, you know, have my pimples come, covered up, if I was just going to the gym or just, you know, going to the grocery store and I didn't like want a full face or anything like that, you can use a BB cream alone. It feels great. Your skin feels hydrated. It's not as wet. It's when you first apply it, but it's not like really, it's not like it's matte or if that makes sense, but it just gives you that, it kind of gives you like a nice glow is what I feel like. Oh, beach. I love the BB cream. So if you want to like the beach or the pool too, it's great. You just want that little something on your face. 
because it really doesn't look like I'm wearing makeup because it still like feel like I have like a glow to me. Should you focus on how your lashes look on um, I think yours cut off, Nicole. Maybe maybe there's another message that came through. I'll check in a sec. Again, the handy dandy tweezers. <coughs> I feel like I have an itch in my throat. Sorry, I'm very picky about lashes. If you guys know, be right there. I'll answer questions in a sec. This eye doesn't love me quite the same as the other eye, but it's okay. That always happens. You know, one eye, like this brow I like more, this eyelash, these eyelashes I like more. Okay. So, mascara done. Love this mascara. Okay. What can I put in my one you search today? You're talking about my mascara, Patricia? Um, the rose water is great. I love putting just a squirt of there, you know, after like a month just to like let it last a little bit longer. And um, you can put contact solution, I've heard. I've never done that, but I've heard from a lot of like reliable sources, like other presenters and stuff that I know that have done that. But um, also make sure to wash your gel wand about once to twice a week, just every like three, four or five days, something like that. Just rinse it under hot, hot water and turn it all the way to hot. Rinse it at like 15, 20 seconds and just tap it off. You don't have to dry it. And then you can just put it right back in here. That will just like prolong the life of your mascara as well. How does selling it work? Give me one second to go through these comments. Um, if I happen to forget, let me know. But and then I will go through. I'm talking about joining. Hi, Jenny. I'm an elite green status. Thank you, Yanli. Hi, Jenny. Products for yourself? Um, Kind of, yes. It counts, counts towards team sales. Hey. Hi, Angie. He stopped me out and so I'm just gonna let him be. My baby just went back to sleep. <laughs> I don't do th I do makeup tutorials almost every day. Just why not? <laughs> this is my job. <laughs> Tell me the way mascara and fibers work. Um, I just showed my whole makeup application or my whole like lashes application. So you can just rewatch this after. It's always played back on my um, page, so you can always rewatch this after. Okay, so I'm gonna go through with pressed powder foundation, which is seriously the reason I joined this company. I love this powder foundation. Um, it comes with a pad, and that's what I use to like get rid of like like hard pimples. I'll probably go back through with that, but for the most part, I just use a powder puff brush and this, and I'll just apply it everywhere. So you can just see. I'm really gonna try to look in that, but it's really hard for me to try to just look in just there. But I just put it everywhere and got kind of press it in, and then blend it out. But you can see it just gives you more coverage, that full matte look. I love this stuff. And I never have to reapply when I use this powder. Okay, so to join, it's $99. You get a kit of makeup worth over $200. So you're basically just paying for a half-price half kit of makeup. Um, there's no fees after joining, no website fees, um, nothing like that. There's no auto ships because everything's done online. So people just buy from your free website and, um, and that's it. And then you get your three commission three hours later from any sale. Um, you guys have any questions about joining? It was definitely, I mean, it's an awesome deal, awesome opportunity, awesome makeup. The only reason I joined is because I love the makeup. <laughs> Do a little bit on the pad, onto my pimple, to completely get rid of that. 
powder's not thick or cakey, so you can just keep going through until it's all covered up. Need a little bit more. There we go. Exactly, Becca. Oh, green wings. Hey, Kelsey. Do I ever get the fibers in my eyes? No. Um, you can. They're 100% natural, so they really won't irritate. Just kind of blink them out if they do. Okay. So I'm going to take this off my lips. I'm going to light the lip exfoliator off. blended in. Ugh. Oh, my nose. Yes, Bobby. It's probably not going to come here till like, it's probably not going to come here till after the holidays just because there's so much packages coming in. Yes, Y Cashers, yeah. Credits to buy makeup, yep. Pink what? Kimberly. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. Okay. Let's, I just, I'm just going to do blush today. I'm not going to do bronzer today. We'll go a little out there with blush and do the scandalous. I'm trying to figure out what I want to do for my lips, though. Probably just want to keep it nude. Yes, it's been on back order since like the second of the month. <laughs> I'll put pink on lips. Pink in, isn't it? What kind of pink? I guess these are our two most pink. Ritzy. I don't know how I feel about pink in this look, though. Ritzy and Lovables are most pink. Maybe Lovable, I can do. But I feel like I want. Like, what about nude on my lips? Maybe a liner? Okay, so I'm just gonna take just a little bit of this. Let me just show you how little bit. Just like, touch. It's like literally, maybe just one little quick touch. Really all you need. Just give me a little cheek color. Yeah, I do like Lux. I can do, I can do like maybe like a pinker liner with Lux. I didn't show the color. Um, like punchy liner and then Lux over it. So it, like a little bit of pink, but not like pink, pink. Maybe that'll look good. I don't know if I've tried that combo either. Okay, that's good. Oh my. Anybody else for that combo? Okay. I feel like I did it on little bit different parts of my cheeks, but say love you. Let's do that then. So punchy to start. So obviously you can wear it alone. I didn't even like fill it in like really good. <laughs> Just kind of threw it everywhere. Okay, so then we're gonna go through Lux. Oh goodness, don't go through too low. <laughs>
like to the high on the side. I like that combo. I love our lip glosses. They're not sticky. They don't have a taste. Anything like that. I used to hate. Oh, I have these coming on now. I used to hate all their lip glosses. <laughs> yes, I like. I like this combo. I never, I never tried this combo, so I like. I like changing it up. <laughs> Hi, Marvin. Too. Okay, I'm gonna quickly since, especially since a lot of other people coming on, just quickly go over the bundle again for the month. The the kudos, um, because I really am probably not gonna get it before it sells out. Um, for the month, it's already on back order. The, the kudos for the month. So kudos is we always have like a monthly deal. Sometimes it's buy something, get something free. Sometimes it's a little collection kind of out of savings. Um, today's, this month, it's kind of like a little collection out of little savings. So it comes in this exclusive case, which is awesome. Um, that's just additional free thing that you get in. It's a little carrying case, which is awesome. Just throw it in your purse, throw it wherever. Throw your little makeup in there. Um, but it includes like a lip gloss that kind of looks, it's a new exclusive. Where is it? Kind of looks like in between this lovable and the clear. So it's a little bit a little bit lighter pink and nude. It actually probably looks, it's probably a little lighter than this though. Um, but similar like tone to this color, but it's a new exclusive brand new lip gloss color. So brand new, um, not available for individual sale or anything. Um, so you get that in the kit. You get, um, it's called Polar, this blue sparkly eyeliner, which is awesome. I cannot wait to get that. That is literally December only exclusive, will never ever be sold individually. So they said, so um, the new lip gloss should be sold exclusive or individually at some point, um, probably in the next few months, but um, it's only sold individually right or in that collection right now. And then the Polar, never be sold again. So that includes that. You get a cream shadow of your choice. We have 17 cream shadows, some shimmery, some matte. You get a cream shadow of your choice and um, a cream shadow brush. So you can choose whatever you want with that. It's $59, which is a 17% savings, plus you get the free carrying case. Everything always comes with a money-back guarantee, but if you like the blue polar, if you just go to uniquebeautybykayla.com, click shop, and then kudos, um, it'll show you exactly what the blue looks like, but it's gorgeous, like gorgeous. Don't be scared just because it's blue, too. It'll look good with anything. And then we got a brand new um, cream shadow this month. It's like a brown, it's called Faithful. It's like a um, matte brown. So that's just a brand new one for the for the month. I feel like those two colors are gonna look great together. I can't wait to, to actually use them, but stuff takes forever to get here, especially around the holidays, so it's probably gonna be a while before I get that. So if you're interested in to get this, get it before it sells out because it's already on back order and will sell out soon. They think it's gonna sell out by the 15th, if not sooner. Um, so definitely get it um, as soon as possible, if you're interested, obviously. <laughs> Thank you guys, you're all so sweet. Using Posh products? No, I'm using all unique. Corey. What shade of blush would you recommend for my skin tone? I mean, honestly, you can use whatever kind of blush, but it's hard. If you like, um, it looks a little bit more intimidating in here, but this is really good for like very fair skin tones and stuff. Although I like it, it's called Stunning. It's a light pink, um, but if you like more, um, more like um, mauve like cool tones. Sweet is a great color. But honestly, you can use anything. I don't think anything should, should deter you away from using certain colors, but uh, for like very fair skin tones, stunning is, is mostly what I recommend. Oh yes, definitely brandy. Yep, blue eyes is just gonna make your blue eyes pop. I think it's still gonna balance out with green eyes, look gorgeous, and then with brown, it just gives you some pop of color. Um, it looks a little bit different, but very similar to um, too whimsical. Let me just get a little bit of this. Maybe kind of, I think it's like a little bit different too. I'm trying to do this like as a liner on my hand right now. I don't know if you guys can see. There we go. So it's obviously a little bit different, but it kind of reminds me, oh my goodness, it kind of looks like a different color there. Um, like of that color or kind of like our, our blue wings. Oh, there we go. Now you can see the color a little bit more true. From further back it's kind of looking more gray it doesn't look that great but it's a very pretty blue you can see it on the website um but it looks gorgeous and if for any reason you're not happy with it return it or tell me and i'll take it from you because this is exclusive that color is literally only exclusive for december i bought like as soon as i found that out i bought like a million more like seriously i don't want that color out of my life because i am so excited <laughs> hi kayla yes i love the cream shadows they're all creams that dry to a powder finish so they don't crease like seriously they don't <laughs> Thank you, Nicole. Welcome, Melanie. Thank you, Kimberly. Um, any more questions before I get off? And again, if you guys are interested in joining, I just talked about it a second ago, but you guys can message me with any questions. It's a very fun and great opportunity, whether you wanna 
you know, use it for the discount or actually work the business. I'd be happy to help you either way. Um, you can pair with any, obviously if you want to pair with like a lighter blue, it will look good. Um, browns, I feel like it's going to really look good with. I love blues and browns. Um, you can, I mean, you can pair it with whatever, but, um, like this playful is like a light shimmery blue. I feel like it would look great with that as well. Browns, definitely. Browns always, especially if you want to be more subtle about it. Honestly, you can use it completely alone too, just to give you a pop of color for the day. Hi, Jessica. Thank you. Thank you, Jenny. Yes, yeah, I, I'm really excited. And so obviously you can get the cream shadow if you want to match it, but you can just get whatever cream shadow you like. Cause I love our cream shadows. Like we have 12 shimmer, no, 13 shimmery cream shadows. And I think, how many? October, November, December, I think three? How many? I think three matte cream shadows. I think our fourth one just released of our matte cream shadows. I'm getting like all confused at how many we have. But yes, four matte cream shadows, which are awesome. That's what I used today. Okay, I think I'm gonna get off because I just start rambling. Uh, if you guys have questions, please message me. If I happen to miss any of your comments throughout here, definitely, definitely message me. And for any questions or any to comment, just send me a picture of you natural lighting. I wore the BB cream and the pressed powder. The BB cream and bisque, the pressed powder in uh, Velour. I love, love, love this combo. Yes, um, silver glitter eyeshadow. Nope, it's um maybe that color you're seeing in here. So I used some colors from Palette 3. So Smitten is this color on the inside and under my brow. Um, tickled is like my blending up color here. Then Ecstatic is a little bit more, this darker in the crease. And then um, um, Amused Cream Shadow is the main one on my lid. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Hi, Brandy. Hi, Rosalie. Okay, I'm gonna get off now though because I'm just rambling. Please message me any questions. And if you guys like this video, totally like and share. And I will talk to you guys later. I appreciate all you guys watching and all your support and all you guys talking to me this whole time. It's so fun. Bye, guys.